In today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to build an Excel calculation template on realized foreign exchange gain and loss. If you are working in accounting line, you will most probably face with these entries before. Let's say you are working in company A, which is based in Singapore and traded in Singapore dollar. It buys or sells its good to another company B, which is based in United States, which means that it trades in US dollar. This will result in forex gain and loss. It will become a realized once you settle the payment. What is going to happen next in this tutorial is we are going to explore this topic with a detailed example together with a brief explanation on how to use this Excel calculation template. And lastly, we are going to build this template from the scratch with only three steps. So let's get started. Let's get back into our example here. Let's say company A buys some goods from company B in March 2023 and it costs USD $1,000. So with company A, they have to take in this invoice into their system first. Bear in mind, company A trades in Singapore dollar. So they have to convert this invoice into SG dollar equivalents. They decide to use this foreign currency rate on the day, which is 1.327. And this will result in a total of 1,327 Singapore dollar equivalents. After one week, Company A decides to make payment to company B and the foreign currency rate during payment processing is 1.33. So by now you will notice we have got two different foreign currency rates. One is during book in our invoice and second one is during our payment processing. So how can we calculate the forex gain and loss? First of all, we are going to take the difference between foreign currency rate during payment processing and during booking stage, which in this case is 1.33 minus 1.327. Then we take this difference to times it together with the original amount, which is USD $1,000. And we will get the result is 3. How can we tell this value is a loss or gain? It is pretty simple actually. So as long as the rate during payment processing is higher than the booking stage, this will incur a forex loss. Let's say we speak in terms of a total value in SGD equivalents. We are spending 1330 Singapore dollar to pay for an invoice with original total value of 1327 Singapore dollar. So this will definitely incur a loss because we'll pay $3 in excess. So now let's get back to our Excel calculation template to give this example a real test drive. Now we are back into our Excel calculation template. Let's have a walkthrough of it. We have two worksheets. The first one is our master data, which has a collection of previous and current foreign exchange rates arranged by month from the year of 2021 until 2023. There are three currencies, which are Euro, Pound, and US Dollar. These rates are extracted from MAS, which is from Monetary. Authority of Singapore. This is the website. The next worksheet is Forex template. We have two sections over here. In the first table, we have exchange rate table, which is rearranged from the master data. And of course, we have three currencies mentioned just now. And take note that the date format over here is rearranged as the first day of each month of particular year. So for example, in 2021, January 1st. Next will be February 1st, 
March 1st, and so on. This is a very important point to be taken note. In the next table, we have calculation of realized foreign gain or loss. We have two sections. The first one is to insert the information manually accordingly. The second section is the formula link calculation. I have included a screenshot of our previous example so that we can have a test drive to test out this calculation template. So let's jump into the first information for us to insert. That will be our invoice date. According to the example, that will be March 3rd, 2023. But due to the design nature of this calculation template, we have rearranged the date format. So we have to take note that for the invoice date, we have to input as the first day of each month in that particular year. So in this case, we will change it to March 1st, 2023. The next information is currency, which will be USD. Take note that the capital letter or small letter is doesn't matter. In this context, you can choose which ever way that you want to input this currency. The next part that will be an invoice amount, we will follow the original value, which is $1,000. And in this case, there is no change in it. So the next one will be our payment rate. According to our example, in the third point, we can see that the payment rate is 1.33. So let us change it to 1.33. So you can probably see that the amount in SGD equivalence will change it automatically because it is a formula link. Basically, it takes the invoice amount and times it together with the payment rate. And we get a Singapore dollar 1330 So once you have updated all the information in section 1, you can see that in section 2, the formula link calculation will run on its own. Let's focus on the first one, the rate used to take in the invoice. So according to our example, the rate will be 1.327 and it is exactly the same shown in this calculation part. So you can probably see that there is a very long Excel formula. What does it tell and what does it do actually? So basically it returns the rate used to book in this invoice from this exchange rate table over here on the left based on two criteria. The first one will be our invoice date which is March 1st 2023 and the next criteria will be our currency USD. We can manually double conform it over in our exchange rate table based on these two criteria. So let's do it now. So based on the currency, that will be the USD, which we can see that they will definitely, the rate will be definitely in this last column. And the next criteria will be our date. Slowly scrolling down and we can see that our desire date will be in the last row. And we can see that the rate we are going to look for is 1.327. So we can see that Yes, the calculation, the formula returns the exact same thing, 1.327. So we can see that the formula is a correct one. Next, that will be the amount in SGD equivalence. This, this is a straightforward one. Just takes the invoice amount times together with the booking rate just now and we get 1,327 Singapore dollar. The next one is an important part to calculate the gain and loss. And we can see that that is a $3. And this $3, it is the same result as in our example here. So basically what it takes is the difference between the payment rate minus of the booking rate and then times together with the invoice amount. This is exactly the same working over here and we get the same result of course. And based on the calculation, we get a loss of $3. So this is basically how this foreign exchange rates template work. 
and if you are interested to know how to build this from the scratch, I will show you how in the next step.